Assalamu alaikum. My brothers and sisters, this is a month of developing our relationships, improving our relationships. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam reminds us who is the best from amongst us. He says, khayrukum khayrukum li ahlihi. It means the best from amongst you is the one who is best to his wife. Primarily, that's the meaning. But by extension, it includes your spouse, which means either way, it also includes the broader families. Now, why is so much importance given to the wife? You bring in someone's daughter, an innocent person, someone who's come into the house. She is the daughter of a family who loves her. She is a sister of those who love her as well. She's been brought up in a unique way. Now you've brought her with the name of Allah into your care. The best from amongst you are those who can appreciate her for who she is. And when you have to correct her or when you have to say something, you say it in the most loving and kind way. It's important for you to note that there may be a little bit of politics between your mother, your sister on one hand and your wife on the other. You need to know it's not a competition. You must stand up for your spouse. Never use religious blackmail to oppress your own wife and to let her know or to tell her, you know, heaven lies at the feet of my mother. That is, statement is used as religious blackmail. And I've been saying this quite a few times when it has nothing to do with that. Here it is to do with fulfilling the rights of your spouse, whom the Prophet ﷺ says the best from amongst you is he who is best to his wife. So I'm calling on you to build your relationship. Be kind, be good in the way you speak to each other. Don't be very demanding. If you don't like something, you need to know how to talk, how to correct a person. You need to be very, very soft in your approach with your own spouse. Remember, why did you get married if you were all about your friends even after marriage? Why did you get married if you didn't want to spend any time with this person whom you got married to? So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala really make us from those who understand. Your wife is waiting for you. You don't just spend time on the phone all night, every night, while your wife is waiting for you to speak with her. And at the same time, if there is something that you need to say, like I said, I'm a father of so many daughters, mashallah. And you know what? We expect from those who marry our children to respect them. We respected them when they were with us. We treated them very well. They may like or dislike slightly differently from you, but that doesn't mean you have the license to disrespect them and disregard who they are. Honor them and Allah will give you honor. Remember, the love that you have for your wife is very different from the love that you have for your mother. The two are, do not overlap, but respect both. Don't let one oppress the other. But remember that if your wife or your mother or your sister is taking you away from the other completely, then they need help. You need to make sure that you've done the right thing. This is a short message. I hope you've benefited. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless our mothers to treat our wives respectfully. May Allah bless our sisters to treat our wives respectfully and not to demean them, belittle them and make their hearts pain, make them cry for no reason. This is a month of reflection. The reason why I've picked on the wife in particular is because the hadith says khayrukum, khayrukum li ahlihi. The best from amongst you is he is he who is best to his wife. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us that betterment. Aqulu qawli hadha wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullah.